He got three coaches. We don't know who the head coach is. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a way better fighter than Terrence Crawford. Who has he fought? I'm fucking him up. <laughs> I already told him. I'm fucking him up. Jerron Boots Ennis gives his pick as to who will win between Arrow, the true Big Fish Spence Jr., and Terrence Bud Crawford. As we know, Jerron Boots Ennis is patiently waiting for his opportunity to take a shot at one of these two champions. Whoever wins likely would have to face Jerron Boots Ennis, but they may have other plans for themselves as well. But Jerron Boots Ennis gets asked by my boy YSM Sports Media and salute to my boy YSM Sports Media the best boxing reporter on the East Coast and soon the whole wide world check out what Jerron Boots Ennis had to say about who he got winning this fight Mr. Junior, mm. what you think of that? Uh, that's, a, that's a good fight you know, 50-50 uh, fight uh, honestly it's going to come down who, who in the best shape and who hungrier you know, uh I don't know. I don't know who gonna win, but I, I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards, you know, uh, towards Spence. I feel like Spence got something to prove, and I feel like a lot of people like doubting him a little bit, you know. Uh, but like I said before, you don't know until fight night. I mean, I mean, the best man win, you know. Hopefully, we get that, that winner, you know. Now, the hero Boots had to say, he said he's leaning towards Spence. He said that Errol Spence got something to prove, and I would agree. Errol Spence definitely has something to prove. He got to prove a lot of people wrong. A lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of legendary type fighters in boxing seem to be leaning towards Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is also the betting favorite going to this fight. So Errol Spence has some things to prove, right? The big stepper, right? Will he step to Terrence Crawford? Will that be the right approach? Crawford tends to start slow. Spence typically starts pretty fast will that be the case in this particular matchup who knows right i think it's gonna be a lot of respect between these two guys um truth truthfully we don't know how this is gonna play out we can only assume right but jerome boots ennis gave his thoughts and he said spence because well i feel like spence got more to prove and errol spence yes he does got a lot to prove terrence Bud crawford is gonna be a tough task um I think that while Spence has something to prove, um, unfortunately for him, he's in there with a guy like Terrence Crawford who's 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 checking all the boxes, right? He's not a guy who spent years outside of the ring. He's not a guy who 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 damages his body outside of the ring, right? As far as um, vices and things of that nature, right? He's a very very clean fighter, a very disciplined fighter. There's no layoffs as far as injuries is concerned and nothing like that so Terrence Crawford is in shape on top of shape on top of shape on top of shape all he got to do is be bud right but Errol Spence yes he does got a lot to prove he's gonna have to make sure he comfortably makes the weight he got to make sure that he could um, go to strong 12 rounds if need be right Errol Spence is known to have a good motor on him however he has been this way to quite a while so one would question how would his endurance be at this point at 33 years old? Will Errol Spence um, start to fade late in the fight, right? Especially if it's a high-octane, high high-paced fight where both guys are throwing a lot of punches and there's a lot of action going on in that ring. Um, but Errol Spence typically never shown any signs of fatigue, and Terrence Bud Crawford never really showed any signs of fatigue neither. So, yeah, but we're going to see. In Errol Spence's case, he has been at the weight a long time. And, yeah, he said that his natural weight is 165, 168. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Errol Spence has been cutting that weight for a long, long time. And, we, as you know, if you cut a lot of weight, you take something out of yourself. So, yeah, Errol Spence got a lot to prove. He got a lot to prove to the boxing fans. He got a lot to prove to his fans. He got a lot to prove to himself, right? And, yeah, Errol Spence Jr. got a tall task ahead of him. And in and, and that notion, I agree with Boots. Spence got something to prove. However, I do disagree that Spence is going to win a fight. I think Terrence Bud Crawford is going to get the job done uh, for the reasons I stated earlier, right? The more disciplined guy. Um, he hasn't had any PTSD issues, any um, any substance abuse issues, any alcohol issues. He never had any of that stuff. You know, only thing Terrence Crawford consistently has been doing 
is showing up to that ring and stopping everybody that's been in front of him for the past five years. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.